On the border, a federal appeals court says Texas does not have to remove the floating buoy barrier in the Rio Grande. Last month... Breaking. Texas floating barrier between U.S. and Mexico can stay for now. Court rules in reversal. So the Biden administration is taking an L on this one, at least until May. But they are taking an L nonetheless. I can't wait till I say that in November. Anyway... A federal appeals court on Wednesday reversed an order requiring Texas to move a floating barrier on the Rio Grande that drew backlash from Mexico. The latest development in legal battles between the Biden administration and Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott over control of migration at the border. And that's because the White House continues to double down on these lawsuits. To me, it is highly disturbing the fact that the federal government is fighting with the state of Texas because Texas wants to secure its borders. Furthermore, the barrier is one focal point in the legal disputes over border control between Democratic President Joe Biden and Abbott. The Biden administration is also fighting for the right to cut razor wire fencing at the border and for access to a city park at the border that the state fenced off. And yet the left has the audacity to blame Republicans over the border crisis. When it is clear by looking at these lawsuits that the Biden administration has a different agenda. Texas must protect its borders because the federal government is failing to do so. I don't blame Governor Abbott. I mean, the amount of influx that Texas is receiving is beyond ridiculous. And yet you have these sanctuary city leaders complaining and whining when they are not even dealing with the amount of migrants that Texas is getting on a daily basis. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.